Hello students, welcome to Rashmi's classes. Let's get started. Insert solutions for class 11 biology. Chapter 09 Biomolecules What are macromolecules? Give examples. Answer. Chemical compounds, which are found in the acid-insoluble fraction, are called macromolecules or biomacromolecules. As suggestive of its name, its molecular weights lie above 1,000 Dalton. Consequently, micromolecules have molecular weights of less than 1,000 Daltons. Examples of macromolecules are proteins, lipids, and carbohydrates, etc. Except for lipids, all the other macromolecules, including carbohydrates, proteins, and nucleic acids are polymeric substances. Illustrate a peptide, glycosidic, and phosphodiester bond. Answer. The illustration of peptide, glycosidic, and phosphodiester bonds are given below. Peptide bond, amino acids in a protein are linked by peptide bonds. Correspondingly, the proteins are called a polypeptide. Peptide bonds are formed when the carboxyl group of one amino acid reacts with the amino group of the next amino acid with the elimination of a water molecule. As water molecule is eliminated, so the reaction is that of dehydration. Glycosidic bond. Glycosidic bonds are bonds linking the individual sugar units, monosaccharides, in a disaccharide or a polysaccharide. When two Sugar units join, they join with the help of a glycosidic linkage, with the release of a water molecule. Phosphodiester bond, phosphodiester bonds link individual nucleotides in a nucleic acid. So, we say DNA, a nucleic acid, is a polynucleotide. A phosphodiester linkage is formed due to the linking of a 3-foot carbon of one sugar of a nucleotide with a 5-carbon of the sugar of an adjacent nucleotide by a phosphate moiety. The bond among the phosphate and hydroxyl groups of sugar is an ester bond. It is a phosphodiester bond as there is one such ester bond on either side. Write a short note about the tertiary structure of proteins. Answer. Tertiary structure specifies the spatial layout of amino acids that are far apart in the linear structure as well as those remains that are adjacent. The arrangement of amino acids specifies the ultimate 3D structure of any specific protein. The polypeptide chain folds spontaneously so that the majority of its hydrophobic side chains are buried in the interior, and the majority of its polar charged chains are on the surface. The tertiary structure of a protein is stabilized by hydrophobic interactions, electrostatic forces, salt bridges, and disulfide links. Find and write down structures of 10 fascinating small molecular weight biomolecules. Find there is any industry that produces the compounds by isolation. Find out who are the buyers. Answer. The structures of 10 different small molecular weight biomolecules are given below. Weight biomolecules. Find there is any industry that produces the compounds by isolation. Find out who are the buyers. Glucose. Fructose. Cholesterol. Ribose. Deoxyribose. Tyrosine. Tryptophan. Melatonin. Adenine. Guanine. Many industries manufacture compounds by the process of isolation. Some examples are given below. Industry. Compounds. Buyer. Pharmaceuticals manufacturing industries. Enzymes. 
agriculture-based food industries, such as companies manufacturing juices, jams, etc., research institutes, cosmetics, medicine companies, paper industry, clothing industry, etc. Liquid glucose manufacturing industry. Liquid glucose. Food companies, drug and pharmaceutical companies. Proteins have a primary structure. If you are provided a method to know which amino acid is at either of the two termini, ends, of a protein, can you link this information to the homogeneity or purity of a protein? Answer. The series of amino acids, i.e., the positional information in a protein which is the first amino acid, which is second, and so on is known as the primary structure of a protein. The initial amino acid is also known as an N-terminal amino acid. The final amino acid is known as the C-terminal amino acid. Yes, we can relate this information to the homogeneity or purity of a protein. Based on the number of amino groups and carboxyl groups, there are acidic, example, glutamic acid, basic, lysine, and neutral, valine, amino acids, proteins may be acidic, basic, and neutral. Find out and create a list of proteins utilized as therapeutic agents. List additional uses of proteins, example, cosmetics, etc. Answer. A list of proteins used as therapeutic agents are given below. Proteins. Therapeutic use. I. Insulin. Diabetes. 2. Vasopressin. Treatment of diabetes insipidus. 3. Interleukin 2. Used to prevent low platelets counts and 2. Decrease the requirement for blood TR answer fusions following cancer treatments. 4. Oxytocin. Used for inducing uterine contractions to induce labor during pregnancy. Both plants and animals give the appropriate probnitious materials for the preparation of cosmetic items. Proteins from algae and fungi, though, are also increasingly being utilized as protein sources. High-protein plants most widely used as beginning material for making vegetable proteins are wheat and corn gluten, rice, soy, and oat protein concentrates and defatted oil seeds, almond, peanuts, sunflower. Among the larger variety of vegetable proteins, soy globulins and wheat gluten are by far of the widest use. Wheat gluten, often just known as wheat protein, is a distinctive cereal protein of high elasticity when hydrated. Soy proteins are useful because of their thickening and emulsifying effects. Explain the composition of triglyceride. Answer. Triglycerides are a type of lipids found in living beings that are synthesized due to the esterification of three fatty acids with a glycerol molecule. These are also called fats and oils based on their melting points. Oils have lower melting points as compared to fats. The three fatty acids may be different or the same. Therefore, they may be known as simple or mixed. Can you explain what occurs when the milk is converted into yogurt or curd from your perception of proteins? Answer. Milk contains a protein called casein. This protein provides milk with its characteristic white color. It is of high nutritional value because it contains all the essential amino acids required by the man's body. The curd formation takes place as lactic acid bacteria chemically react to the casein of milk. Lactic acid bacteria present in the curd that is used as the culture cause coagulation of milk casein and thus convert it into curd. Can you try the structure of biomolecules utilizing commercially available atomic models, ball and stick models? 
Answer, yes, we can create models of biomolecules using commercially available atomic models. Attempt titrating an amino acid against a weak base and discover the number of dissociating, ionizable, functional groups in the amino acid. Answer, once an amino acid is titrated against a weak base, it dissociates and provides two functional groups, I, COO group, carboxylic group, 2, amino group, NH2. Draw the structure of the amino acid alanine. Answer, the structure of alanine is given below. What are gums made of? Is favicol different? Answer, gums are made up of carbohydrates, and chemically, they are heteropolysaccharides. Favicol is polyvinyl alcohol glue. It is different from natural gums as it is a synthetic product. Find out a qualitative test for proteins, fats, and oils, and starch amino acids, and test any fruit juice, saliva, sweat, and urine for them. Answer. A qualitative test for proteins, xanthoproteic test. Experimental material. Observation. Inference. A. Urine. Yellow precipitate. The formation of yellow precipitate suggests the presence of protein in the food material. B. Water. No precipitate. A qualitative test for fats, emulsification test. Experimental material. Observation. Inference. A. Sweat. Oil droplets. Formation of oil droplets. I.e., emulsification signifies the presence of fats in the provided food material. B. Water. No oil droplet. A qualitative test for oils, paper test. Experimental material. Observation. Inference. A. Food. Material. Paper turns. Into. A. Opaque paper becomes. Sample. TR answer lucent. TR answer lucent, which. Suggests the presence. Of fats in the food. B. Water. Paper gets soggy. Material. A qualitative test for starch, iodine test. Experimental material. Observation. Inference. A. Fruit juices. Blue-black color when few drops of iodine are added. The formation of blue-black color suggests the presence of starch in the provided food material. B. Water. No change in color. Find out exactly how much cellulose is produced by the plants in the biosphere and then compare it to how much paper is produced by human beings, and therefore, what is the use of plant material by man each year? What a loss of vegetation. Answer, most paper is formed from wood pulp. The major component of wood pulp is cellulose, a polymer made of several glucose molecules linked together. The cellulose molecules, and their bonding to each other, give the paper its properties. Nearly 33% of everything in the plant matter is cellulose. The cellulose content of wood is 40-50% and that of cotton is 90% for industrial use. Cellulose is mostly obtained from cotton and wood pulp. It is used primarily to produce paper and paperboard, to a smaller extent. It is converted into a large variety of derivative products, like rayon and cellophane. Describe the important properties of enzymes. 
Answer, enzymes are proteins that catalyze biochemical reactions in cells. So, usually, enzymes are proteins, but sometimes RNA also behaves catalytically. Catalytic RNAs are called ribozymes. Each enzyme works best at its optimum. Temperature Subsequently, enzymes are proteins, they are denatured at high temperatures. Enzymes work most excellent at their optimal pH. Graph that displays the effect of pH on enzyme activity. With a rise in substrate concentration, the velocity of the enzymatic reaction increases at first. The reaction ultimately achieves a maximum velocity, Vmax, which is not exceeded by any additional increase in the concentration of the substrate. The activity of an enzyme is also sensitive to the presence of particular chemicals, maybe modulators or inhibitors of enzyme action, that bind to the enzyme. Enzymes are substrate-specific. Due to the three-dimensional folding of the enzyme, it forms pockets or crevices. One such pocket is called the active site. An active site of the enzyme is a crevice or a pocket at which the substrate binds. Substrates bind to enzymes at the active site. Thanks for watching. Please like, dot, share, and subscribe.